Sabrina Rombach. Welcome to another episode of Thoughtful Tuesday. So today we're going to talk about how to be more thoughtful for our significant others because they are the people that we actually treasure every day of our life. They're the ones we handpicked after it all. So, um, but have you ever felt that Sometimes you might be sitting right next to your significant other, but you feel like they're miles, miles away. Why would that be? You sometimes feel like you no longer enjoy the inside jokes you guys used to have. You lost the telepathic connections, knowing what each other's thoughts, finishing each other's sentences. Or sometimes that excitement you guys used to have toward the activities you like to do no longer really interests you. Well, sometimes it could just be hard because we've been with that person for so long and we're forgetting how to be more thoughtful to each other because you go into that comfort zone. And why would that be as a healthcare professional? Think about we're so good at providing care and taking care of everyone else around us and being a good financial support for our family. However, does your business really giving you that future you want it to be, connecting to the person that means so much to you, where it's actually pulling you away and making you more isolated. Have you ever experienced that you promised your friend to go to the gym, but you have to cancel yet another time? You're late to dinner again, and you're seeing the disappointment on your significant other's face. But despite how much you're apologizing, you still broke a promise. And even worse, sometimes that you needed to go on for a trip, but you got stuck in the OR, but you can't step away. Now what? At the end of the day, actually study being shown, the best way to conquer this is to have more open communication. And it's one of the, probably the most effective way for couples for them to go back on track on how they can become connected to each other, fall back in love with each other, and be really joyful to their life. I wanted to talk about this because this is what me and my husband do as well. We spent more than seven years together since I was in PA school, some of the toughest years of my life. Um, And we continue to set time aside just to plan it out our weekends because he travels and I work a lot as well. So knowing how your partners want to be loved, showing the love the way they want it to be, and knowing what your own love languages are, those are important part of life. And please share with us if you have found ways to connect better with your significant other on a daily basis. And if you like these episodes, please subscribe and follow my pages. And if you're a healthcare professional who really wanted to find a supportive group to build your stronger relationship with those around you, to get more productive with your time, but balancing our life, then join us at Extraordinaires. I will post the link below. Have a good day.